In Lesson 11.4, you will select and draw conclusions from samples. A population is a group of people or objects that you want information about. A sample is a subset of the population being studied. An unbiased sample is a sample that is representative of the population you want information about. And a biased sample is a sample that overrepresents or underrepresents part of the population. In example one, a teacher wants to survey everyone at her school about the quality of the school lunches. Identify the type of sample described and tell if the sample is biased. Types of samples are listed above. In a self-selected sample, members of a population can volunteer to be in the sample. In a systematic sample, a rule is used to select members of a population, such as selecting every other person. In a convenient sample, easy to reach members of a population are selected, such as those in the first row. In a random sample, each member of a population has an equal chance of being selected. In A, the teacher surveys every seventh student that goes through the lunch line. Here the teacher is using a rule because she's selecting every seventh student that goes through the lunch line. So the sample is a systematic sample. And <clears throat> this sample is biased because the teacher surveys the students, but not the teachers. In B, it says, from a random name lottery, the teacher chooses 150 students and teachers to survey. Here the teacher chose from a random lottery, so the sample is a random sample. Random samples are going to result in the best unbiased samples. And this sample is unbiased because both students and teachers are being surveyed. Margin of error is the number that gives a limit on how much the responses of a sample would differ from the responses of the population. When a random sample of size n is taken from a large population, the margin of error is approximated by this formula. This means that if the percent of the population responding a certain way is p expressed as a decimal, then the percent of the population that would respond the same way is likely to be between p minus 1 over the square root of n and p plus 1 over the square root of n. In example 2, in a survey of 1,432 people, 26% said that they read the newspaper every day. In A, what is the margin of error for this survey? Well, to find the margin of error, we'll use our formula. And it's equal to plus or minus 1 over the square root of n. n is the sample size and it's given as 
1,432. So we've got 1 over the square root of 1,432. And if we run that through our calculator and approximate it, we get plus or minus 0 0.026. or written as a percent, that's plus or minus 2.6 percent. So the margin of error for the survey is about plus or minus 2.6 percent. In B it says, give an interval that is likely to contain the exact percent of all people who read the newspaper every day. So here we need to use the percent that's given 26% said that they read the newspaper every day and subtract our margin of error, 2.6%. So we'll get 23.4% and also 26% plus our margin of error of 2.6% which gives us 28.6%. So it is likely that the exact percent of all people who read the newspaper every day is between 23.4% and In example three, a group of students surveyed the local community about their favorite beverage. How many people did they survey if the margin of error is plus or minus 7%? Here we're going to use our margin of error formula and work backwards. So we're given a margin of error of plus or minus 7%. We'll write that as a, a decimal. It's equal to plus or minus 1 over the square root of n, and we're solving for n. How many people uh, were surveyed? So the first thing we'd want to do if we were solving for n would be to get rid of that radical in this equation. So we'll do that by squaring both sides of this equation. And whether we're squaring a positive or a negative value, we're going to get a positive product, so we don't have to worry about our signs here. 0 0.07 squared is equal to 0 0.0049. And on the right-hand side, 1 squared in the numerator is 1, and the square root of n times itself in the denominator is just n. Well, this is a proportion, and if we use our um, exchange means or exchange streams property for proportions, we can write this equation as n equals 1 over 0 0.0049. And running that through our calculator, we get approximately 204. So about 204 people were surveyed. Include with your notes of this video these practice problems. In problem one, identify the type of sample described and tell whether the sample is biased. A local politician wants to survey his constituents. He mails surveys to the constituents that are members of his political party and uses only the surveys that are returned. In example two, suppose the sample size is 3,236. 
what is the margin of error for the survey? And number three, in a poll about which movie channel its customers prefer to watch, a cable company wants a margin of error to be plus or minus 3%. How many people would they need to survey?